I'm strong to the finish because I eats me spinach. I'm bought by the sailor man. Hi guys, it's Henry at Bidwell. I hope you're having a great Monday and thank you for joining me for today's Monday Motivation. You probably remember that cartoon and later movie, Popeye. You know, Popeye's the guy that made spinach go into style. In fact, many reports tell us that spinach sales went up by one third, all on account of the show's popularity. I'm gonna stick to my steady diet of dark chocolate for antioxidants and other nutrients, but that's a different story. One of my favorite expressions of Popeye has less to do with his dietary recommendations that gave him super strength than I am one of his most popular phrases expressed in a song when he says this, I am what I am, I am. I am what I am, I am. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. I love what he's saying, and sometimes it just feels so great to utter those words to oneself, doesn't it? I am what I am, folks. Take it or leave it. <laughs> Accepting oneself can oftentimes be the key to life moving forward. In fact, I'll take that over a mouthful of spinach any day. But I want to tell you that I think the Apostle Paul actually had a way of saying this better. He said this, By the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. Seems to me, the grace of God and being made in the image of God is what makes us the most lovable. And it's this reality that's grounded in Christ that should ultimately be the thing that shapes our identity. Craig Barnes, a pastor and scholar and president of Princeton Seminary, describes how our identities are so often shaped by borrowed images. We grab a little here and a little there from wherever, some ideal from a magazine or another person like a celebrity or someone we admire or another image we think we should live into. It seems only human, doesn't it? borrowing images to construct our own sense of self. But it's the divine image we're meant to live into. And the Christian life is God shaping us, restoring us into this image over the course of our lives. We trust in this saving grace and power to be at work in us. This gives our lives an incredible sense of dignity. Our job is to keep looking at Jesus and beholding him as one perfectly crafted in the image of God without anything borrowed, just the one who is beautiful and worthy of adoration. This week, remember that you stand in grace. I don't know about you, but I need to be reminded that I am what I am, so by the grace of God. Remembering the image that God sees in me is that of Jesus because of my faith in him. And my job is to keep looking at the image of Christ and beholding it as life's crown jewel. And as far as what other people see in me, well, <laughs> I am what I am I am. So by the grace of God and his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. You stand in grace. You are an, an inheritor of Christ's triumph. It's the work of his regenerative power in you that gives you the strength you need to live more in his likeness. Go ahead and memorize this verse from 1 Corinthians chapter 15. It's the 10th verse. By the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. Repeat it as your own mantra, as needed. Accept acceptance, and keep walking in the light as you look toward the perfect image of God in Christ. He's your redeemer, and trust that as you do, God's restoring his divine image in you. Have a great week.